Here we have another question from the iStruct structural behaviour course. You'll have to excuse the drawing because I haven't actually seen this in the wild. Someone actually sent it to me as a drawing. The question is, in the above parabolic arch, what is the bending moment at the quarter point? Give this problem a try for yourself, pause the video and come back to it when you're done. One very important thing to note is this is a parabolic arch. Why is that important? Well, because if you have a linear UDL load, like the 20 kilonewtons per meter applied load, that doesn't actually cause any uh, bending moment in the arch. All the bending moment is actually created by that 240 kilonewton concentrated force. But nevertheless, we will consider the whole structure. And first of all, we need to resolve for the reactions. So our equations are, well, okay, so we have a symmetrical structure and it is a, uh, it is symmetrically loaded. So I've just realized I've forgotten to add one key dimension, which is that that height is six meters. Okay, so this is a, uh, this is our equation of motion, um, equation of equilibrium VA is equal to VB we know that because it's symmetrically loaded so that will be equal to uh, one half of 240 plus 20, 20 kilonewtons per meter times 16 which is the entire length and yep so that should be our should be our um, force divided by two, and that is two hundred and eighty kilonewtons. Sorry, okay, so let's fill that in two eighty two eighty kilonewtons. I try to put the units on, but sometimes when they work quickly, I accidentally miss them. Um, okay, so that's the first important one. We ha we also know that HA is equal to HB. Well, they're opposite direction, but the magnitude is the same. Uh, we don't know what that is yet, so we need to try and find that. So how do we do that? We take moments around the pin at the top. So at the pin we have 240 kilonewtons applied force we have uh, 20 kilonewtons uh, per meter we have this h uh, sorry vb force which we already know as 280 kilonewtons and we don't know what that HA force is yet, uh, HB, sorry. Are those the only forces acting on it? Yes, and we also need these dimensions. So that dimension is six meters and that dimension is eight meters. Okay, so let's do this. Let's sum up all of the clockwise moments first. Uh, and we're looking around this point here. We know that M is equal to zero. Okay, so uh, sum up all the clockwise moments. So we've got uh, 20 kilonewtons per meter times eight. Uh, let's square that, divide by two. Actually, no, let's write this I'll, I'll, I'll write this out first. It's a pl um, this is 20 kilonewtons multiplied by the length gives you the total force, but it's acting at the halfway point of its application. So the lever arm is eight over two. So uh, that's what that is. 
the 240 kilonewtons concentrated load doesn't actually give any moments because it's, it's being applied through the pin, so there's no lever arm. Okay, um, we need to add on HB times its lever arm, six meters, is equal to all of the anti-clockwise moments. There's only one, so that's uh, 280 kilonewtons, which is VB times by 8 meters, which is the lever arm. So we can solve for HB. So that gives uh, 6HB is equal to 280 times 8, which is 2240 minus whatever that comes to, 20 times 32, 640. So HB is equal to 2240 minus 640 divided by 6. HB is equal to 266.7 kilonewtons. And that's also what HA is equal to. Let's put these in here. Good, uh, we've got all the reactions. Um, now we need to try and res find the quarter point of the of the parabola. One thing we don't know is the height at the quarter point. So if you take the four meter mark here, what is that height? So we have to do some quite basic mathematics. <laughs> so equation of parabola y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. That's the general equation. Thankfully, we've got three points to work with and three unknowns because we need to find a, b, and c. So let's center our coordinate system Let's put the coordinates around this point here. So that is our origin, x and y. OK, so our first point is minus 8 for x, and we have got coordinate of minus 8 and 0. Our second point is 0 and 6. Yes, it is. Now, a third point is 8 and 0. OK, so let's plug this in. So we've got z using these equations from up here, we've got 0 is equal to um, uh, a times minus 8 squared plus minus 8 times b. Uh, plus some c. Uh, this one we have uh, 6 is equal to 0a plus 0b plus c. So we know that c is actually is equal to 6. Um, okay, and we have 0 is equal to uh, a times 8 squared plus 8b plus c. Let me just rewrite these ones up here. We have 0 is equal to 64a minus 8b plus 6. Here we have, uh, well, c is equal to 6. And down here we have 0 is equal to 64a plus 8b plus 6. Okay, so then let's do 1 plus 2. So we get 0 is equal to 1 to 8a. Uh, sorry, this should be plus 6 there. Plus 12. 
because the minus 8b and 8b cancel each other out. So we have a is equal to minus 12 over 128. And that's also the same as minus 3 over 32. Okay, so then let's plug this in then. We've got, um, uh, what do we have? We have, let's just take uh, th this coordinate here. Actually, no, let's, yeah, let's take this coordinate here. So we've got um, 0 is equal to 8 squared times minus 3 over 32 plus 8b plus c. Uh, c is 6, so I keep missing that out. Okay, so 0 is equal to uh, 64 times 3 times minus 3 divided by 32. Uh, okay, perfect. We have minus 6 plus 8b plus 6. So that cancels with that. 8b is equal to 0, so we have b is equal to 0. So the equation of our parabola is actually y is equal to minus 3 over 32x squared plus 6. Let me highlight that because that's very important for the next step. Okay, then let's take the quarter point then. We have... Four meters. Uh, let's say that that's now four meters along, but w but the important parts we're cutting it around there. We're going to have some kind of hogging moment. And okay, and we've got our reaction forces, which we already know. That's two six six point seven kilonewtons. That vertical one is 280 kilonewtons. Um, the concentrated load is actually acting to the left of this, so we can ignore it. So then the only part we have to worry about is the UDL, um, which is uh, 20 kilonewtons per meter. Okay, so... Um, Let's resolve this. <clears throat> so if we take all of the clockwise moments, the clockwise moments are 20 kilonewtons per meter times 4 squared over 2. So 4 meters is the length and 4 over 2 is the lever arm. So that's 20 times 4 squared over 2. Uh, what else acts clockwise around that point? It will be this horizontal force because that's trying to spin it in this direction like that. So let's add 266.7 kilonewtons times. Ah, we don't know the height. Okay, so that's why we've just that's why we've just gone through the hassle of uh, solving the equation of the parabola. We need to know the height, which is our value of y. So we have um, so y of 4 is equal to, okay, hmm, let's find some space. So y of 4 is equal to minus 3 times 4 squared over 32 plus 6, which is equal to, let's see, minus 3 times 16 divided by 32, so that is minus 1.5 plus 6. So y of 4 is going to be 4.5 meters. Okay, so that is 4.5 meters. Good, okay, and so our lever arm for horizontal force there is 4.5 meters. And the only uh, and is equal to m, which is our anti-clockwise moment, which we're trying to resolve for, 
plus 280 times 4. That's kilonewtons and that's meters. Okay, good. Let's solve that because that will give us our m value. So 20 times 16 divided by 2. So that part is 160. 266.7 times 4.5 is 1200.15 is equal to m plus 280 times 4. 1120. One, 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 okay, let's change back to black. So m, oh, sorry, that's way too thick. m is equal to uh, 1360.15 minus 1120 is equal to 240, well, 0.15, okay, 240 kilonewton meters. And that is our final answer.